My name is Patrick Osborne. I'm Vice President of Training and Education for TMA, the Technology and Manufacturing Association in Schaumburg, Illinois. TMA is um, a storied uh, association with a long history in training individuals and apprenticeship training. Our uh, renowned program of related theory has trained uh, apprentice candidates in tool and die mold making. And uh, recently we've gotten into hands-on training. We have two tracks. Um, most of our students uh, that belong to TMA members work full time during the day for TMA members uh, and come to class at night time. Recently with the addition of the uh, CNC machine tools, um, we've added a new workforce development uh, track which uh, trains people new to manufacturing um, on how to be uh, successful CNC setup and operators and programmers. Um, it's a new program. It's uh, taken off and it allows us to be able to feed individuals hungry for new careers, career changers, looking for a, uh, a chance in a career in manufacturing into jobs, exciting new jobs in uh, TMA member uh, facilities. When we started our hands-on training program, uh, we used uh, two basic uh, machine tools to get the program started, a, a mill and a lathe. Um, simple uh, G-code programming, uh, level one instruction, um, enabled students to be able to safely set up and operate CNC machine tools, wonderful program. Elevated that to a level two program, uh, started to get into things like circular interpolation, uh, more advanced G-code programming, process planning, um, and again, another wonderful program. When we moved out to our new headquarters here in Schaumburg, uh, we, we queried our members and said, uh, you know, what other needs do you have as a manufacturer? What are machine tools? What are controllers are you looking for? So that, uh, that enabled me to uh, expand the program, to grow the program. And really the crown jewel of our program is, is our Mazak uh, VCU, um, which will allow us to be able to train all the way up to five axis. I've always wanted to have a Mazak in here. Uh, we, in, in this physical location, there's a lot of Mazak shops locally, Mazatrol users. Um, it was definitely a need when we went out to members and said, what kind of training, what kind of controllers are you looking for? So that was definitely, it, it was a done deal that it was going to happen at some stage. But I think us moving out here and the relationship that we had with MSI and with Mazak, um, you know, they made it happen. They made it possible for us to be able to secure this Mazak. They, they knew the level of training that I wanted to bring the program up to, the five axis the level of support that we get from their engineering staff and uh, it's just been a, it's a match made in heaven. If we were to get a machine that, uh, that wasn't a five axis, we'd have to move it out and then bring in another five axis machine and we didn't want to have to do that or to get into that arena. The fact that it was a simple programmatic change for Mazak for their engineers to come in and upgrade us on the VCU was the, was the game changer. The colors, the frost white, the black, uh, they just uh, from aesthetic uh, purposes, beautiful machinery, beautiful equipment, and I know they've got a, a huge solid name in industry. I mean, they're workhorses, they've been around for a long time. And with the increases in machine tool capabilities, um, many of our members are excited about the performance of these new machines. They're capable of doing so many more functions, so much faster, so much quicker. Um, the ROI for them is, is great. But the flip side is the training and the skilled labor that can operate those machines to be able to make them more profitable. It's just, it's lacking. We know there's a skills gap out there. We know that there are hundreds of thousands of skilled jobs that go unfilled every day. As a local trade association in Illinois, um, I've taken it as a mission um, upon myself and as from the association standpoint that we, we listen to our members, that we provide that level of training, that we commit to them to be able to provide them that skilled workforce that they need to, uh, to compete in the future.